let us understand how to find out the present value of perpetual cash flows in earlier sessions we have seen how to find out the present value of uh, single cash flow we know how to find out the present value of annuity but the thing is the single cash flow is also related to a particular period and annuity is for a given period given set of period but what is this perpetual perpetual means you don't have period that's it you are going to get it indefinitely there is no time period no time period it means you are going to get this endlessly then in such case how do you find out the present value if it is 10 years cash flow yes we can find out using the formula because our formula takes care of n that is the time period if it is 20 30 fine but what you will do with 100 years thousands years infinite year okay so how do you find out the present value of perpetual cash flows that is our focus here let me give an example let's say you are going to receive 10,000 every year you are going to receive 10,000 every year and it is perpetual so how do you find out the present value of this 10,000 because you are going to receive this 10,000 this year next year it goes for another 100 years 1000 years then how do you know what is the present value of this 10,000 for that you need only one information that is the discount rate if you can know what is the discount rate then finding the present value of this is very simple let me say discount rate is 10 percent if discount rate is 10 percentage then for me finding the present value of this perpetual cash flow is not an issue i can simply say present value of perpetual cash flow in this case 10,000 is nothing but 10,000 divided by 10 percent which is nothing but 100,000 as simple as that that is in case of perpetual cash flows if you want to find out the present value what you have to do is simply take your perpetual cash flow this is your perpetual cash flow divide the perpetual cash flow by rate of interest okay so perpetual cash flow divided by rate of interest you get an amount this is nothing but present value of perpetual cash flow and if you are finding it difficult to accept this logic just see i am going to invest 100000 1 lakh at the rate of 10 percent it means every year this will generate interest of 10,000 and i give instruction to my banker never ever pay this one lakh back to anyone okay let this be a permanent fund never ever give it to anyone so this one lakh will be there with the bank every year it will generate 10 percent every year it will give a cash flow so what is the source of this 10,000 the source of this 10,000 is this 100,000 that is 1 lakh. So understand here the present value of this cash flow perpetual cash flow is nothing but this 1 lakh. This is originated from this 1 lakh. So what I did here 10,000 is a result of 1 lakh into 10 percent. So I'm just shifting this 10 percent to the right hand side that is 10,000 divided by 10 percent is equal to 1 lakh so that's what i have written here perpetual cash flow divided by rate of interest 10000 divided by 10% is equal to 100000 1 lakh so that is the present value of perpetual cash flow so formula wise it is very simple present value of perpetual cash flow i'll put it again present value of perpetual cash flow is nothing but perpetual cash flow divided by rate of interest okay there is nothing but perpetual cash flow divided by rate of interest.